We're going to look now at revisions in our Revit projects, and we've got a new project for you. It's called revisions.rvt. You can download it from the library as usual to follow along with the video. It should default to the A100 general detail drawing sheet in the project browser. If it doesn't, just go into your project browser, into sheets, and you want the A100 sheet like so. Now, you'll notice that we've got various different viewports and views available to us here in this new Office Build sheet. And we're communicating our design intent by way of saying, hang on, a new view has been added to the sheet kind of idea. So if I select this Rev Cloud here in the sheet, you'll see that I can't delete it in the Modify tab on the ribbon. That's because it's been issued. And the whole idea is if I go back to the View tab here, and go to revisions in the sheet composition, you'll notice that it's been issued, it's been ticked. So if it's been issued, I can't remove it from the sheet. And that's the whole idea. The whole idea is you don't want to remove that rev cloud or that rev tag because you want people to see that that was revision one, as you can see. Now we've got a new revision here and I'm gonna change the date on it, change that to the current date. So what we'll do, we'll put that in there. It's 09.28.19. And you can see there we've got East Colors added. Now that's a elevation with some colors showing on it. So that's been added to the sheet as well, but I haven't issued it yet. So I'm gonna okay that like so. Now, none of that is showing in the revision box here. As you can see, we're still at revision one. And none of that is showing on the sheet either because what I need to do is place a revision cloud around it and tag it. So I go back to annotate here like so and revision cloud and I'll just drag my revision cloud around it, get it placed reasonably accurately, and click there like that. Done. And then I'll click on the green tick, and that's now in place. Now that hasn't been issued yet, so what I'll do is I'll go back to annotate, tag it by category, tag the cloud, like so. Now, the clouds themselves are quite large, but the tags are quite small. So if I zoom in there, you can see that is tag two, revision two. So I'll just hit escape to deselect anything and double click on the wheel to zoom extent. You'll notice that revision two now has been added. There's east colors added and there's today's date. So that's all been added. So I'll just double click on the wheel again to zoom extent, but it hasn't been issued yet. So if I select that, you'll notice I can still delete that cloud if I want to. I don't want to. So what I'll do now is go back to manage here into the view tab, click on revisions like so, and you can see it's there. As soon as I issue it and apply that and okay it, when I select it now, you'll notice I cannot delete it in the modify tab on the ribbon. So I'll just hit escape there to deselect, and then we move forward to the next revision and so on and so on in your Revit projects.